Uncle C back in the office and what I'm going to be doing today and probably through a series of videos is I'm going to be explaining a series of beliefs you know and or masculine beliefs that have served me very well through the years okay for those of you who don't know me my name is Casey Zander I'm the founder of Headman and the exact way that I got to where I am today is not by accident it's through a series of mental mindset tools mental frameworks and thinking completely differently compared to the 99% of people. You see, most don't think correctly, therefore they don't have the right success that they want in life. And this can be with women, this can be with business, this can be with life, like seriously, more things are interlinked than people realize and because they're so interlinked, I really wanna stress this, if you can get success in one area, you can get success in others and you're gonna see noticeable trends, patterns, and recognizable concepts that will move you through a series in life to get to where you want to be. Let's dive in. Now, the very first message that I need to hammer in on today's topic is going to be the mindset of ultimate responsibility. Now, there's a lot of you that are going to be angry at this right away by me saying this, but hear me out for a second. There's a common thread, right? Whether that be in, you know, self-improvement videos or whatnot, guys say, well, you know, the authority that I have today is virtually useless or someone can take, you know, my power away, whether that be the wrong type of woman in a marriage or whatever the case is and yada, yada. And I get that. And the way that things are is how they are. But regardless, it doesn't necessarily deflect why you need responsibility. And I'm going to explain why. If someone in life has done things and you haven't, and you want to do those things, it's your job to figure out how to get it. Okay, it's nobody else's job but your own. Like, there, there's this common thread that other people need to care about your success, or you're deserving of success, or you're deserving of a partner, or you're deserving of a loving relationship, and to be honest, you don't deserve anything unless you go out and get it. So, the most powerful tool that you will have in life and this is through my own trials and tribulations over the past seven to 10 years now is speed and aggression. These are the two things that will get you to where you need to be. So I have a lot of people, people ask, you know, how, how do you start a YouTube channel? Casey, okay, so you grew, I, or people who know me in my hometown, they say you grew from zero to almost a quarter million YouTube subscribers in just a couple of years. How do you do, how do you do that? How do I start? Here's the problem. They don't have speed and they don't have aggression. So when they're sitting there contemplating how to start for a week, in that week span, I already pumped out 14 to 15 videos, okay? People wonder how to make money, okay? And by the time they're done contemplating how to make money, I already had three products on the market and I was just selling, okay? Now, it's because I didn't really care if it was the right or wrong way. I started to understand that speed plus aggression with how you deliver things and ultimately how you tackle life is going to be how you're going to get ahead. Like that's the secret. People want this big tactical thing and it doesn't exist. So when you actually look at something like this, I'll give you another example when it comes to like women or getting better at dating or approaching women. Like, well guys were consistently watching video after video after video of how to approach. I just went out for 18 weekends in a row and I just did 500 approaches. When people were wondering, how do, you, how do you carry yourself on a first date the correct way? I just went out and I dated a lot of women <laughs> and then I went on a lot of first dates to figure it out. Like nothing beats actually doing it. So what you have to kind of do or brainwash yourself through to get to this mindset in life is you gotta really understand that nobody cares if you win or if you fail. There's this preconceived notion where People say, well, I don't want to fail because if my mom sees her, if the girl I like sees her, if my friends see her, if I approach that girl in the bar and everybody in the bar watching me sees that I just failed, I'm going to get rejected. I'm going to be humiliated. The fact is nobody cares. Nobody will remember your name. Nobody will remember my name. The, the amount of self-importance people put on themselves, like there are so many people in the world that even if for that brief glimpse, if somebody watches you and laughs that you failed, the most they're gonna remember it for is 30 seconds and then it's over, okay? And you'll realize that the more times you accept yourself to fail and you can sit in that fire, when you do win, not only does it feel really good, you'll realize that winning doesn't even necessarily feel how you thought it would. It's like a stepping stone of 1% wins. So, you know, if, if even if I take a look at like my income, where I'm at today versus where I was at three, four years ago, the thing is, is it feels, it feels the exact same. And the reason being is because even though I 100x my income or something like that, the fact is like 
it was 1% wins every few weeks. You know, it was 1% wins every couple months until it stacks up and it feels the exact same, but the outside looking in, the perspective is much different. So anyone successful has precursors to get it, okay? Now, if you're only five foot four and you think that that's the reason why you struggle with dating, just know that there's other people out there who are five foot four who have girlfriends or who have wives, okay? If you think that the reason why you can't, you know, be successful in life is because you weren't born with a high IQ. Just know that there's a lot of people with low IQs who figured out a way to make a lot of money. Like your job is to seek out the correct information. Your job is to seek out the correct roadmap for your life. And here's the truth is most people give up far too fast. Okay. This dream even that I had of conveying my certain messages through YouTube or whatnot to help you guys like it didn't come overnight. Like you can see there's almost a thousand videos on this channel. It came from doing the work and doing the work that it actually takes to see something flourish. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you this one thing in life will spread to the other. So the success that I had in the gym within the first few years of building my body, I saw what hard nosed dedication, you know, and I saw what hard nosed sacrifice did. There was a time in my life where through four years in a row, I did not miss a single unscheduled rest or I did not miss a single workout. Okay. I had scheduled rest days, but beyond that, I did not ever miss a single workout. So if you look at the compound effect of 52 weeks times four, over 200 weeks of never actually skipping out on something I should be doing, it didn't matter if I was sick. It didn't matter if I was hung over. It didn't matter how I felt. I just went and I did it. Okay. And that that's certain internal beliefs and internal traits that people can't strip from you when you've built them because it doesn't matter. Like you have the recipe for success then. So here's how you do this. Here's how you actually build these beliefs and get these strong guided masculine principles. You're going to have to learn your levers. So what do I mean by that? There's two things that motivates anybody in life. I'll put one here and I'll put two here. Now I did not come up with these. This is something I heard from Sam Ovens many years ago, but there's two things that people really look for in life to move them in the right lever or in the right direction. The first is sense of superiority and the second is crippling insecurity. So if you take a look at like that spectrum over here, if you have sense of superiority, you're motivated by moving yourself towards your desires and towards your pleasures, right? You think you're better than what most people can do, or you think the success you can get is better than what most people can have over here. If you have crippling insecurity, you have fear of failure. You have fear of judgment. You have fear of embarrassment. That's pain. So over here's pleasure over here's pain because of that. You can move yourself in either one of these directions. And the fact is you will get success regardless because you're moving towards the thing that you want or don't want. It's the same. So if you look at sense of superiority, what would this be? This would be things like saying I'm better, right? Than what the 99% of people are doing. I think I'm smarter than what 99% of people are doing. And I think I'm stronger and can outlast them. Therefore my success will skyrocket. Okay. That's one way of looking at things. Now the second way of looking at things, if you look at crippling insecurity on the pain specter, a guy goes, well, I'm scared of rejection, right? I have a need for survival. So I must solve my reproductive problem or my income problem or any problem that you may or may not have. And the last is I have fear of humiliation. Okay. So this person's operating out of pain. This person's operating out of pleasure or moving towards their desires, but it doesn't matter because they're both moving towards something for me. And here, here's what I think will happen to a lot of you. For me, what it started off was I had crippling insecurity. I was fearful of rejection. I had a need for survival. I didn't want to be humiliated. I wanted to be able to flourish. What happened though, as success starts to compound and snowball is you start to move towards sense of superiority where you're like, Hey, I can keep this up or I can do this or I can do something bigger than what I thought I could. So the different mindset hacks will change as you develop. Now, one thing I think men need to actually be very aware of, and th there's a, especially on the internet, like there's this common thread and this common theme that success okay, is really fast. If you have like, there, there's this common theme that success is really fast and it's, it's not, it's extremely slow. And I'm going to explain why. The reason why, and, and keep in mind, like me, myself, I have access to some of the best guides, the best mentors, the best resources. I have access to some of the best tactics. I have access to the top tier information that anybody could ever ask for. And I have paid lots and lots of money to get access to those people and to that information. But regardless, here's what you must understand. Success is so slow. 
Like it, it's so slow. It's, it's like, you're not going to notice anything or see anything. Okay. For probably about, for most of you to be truthful, probably about 10 years of working. Now I put five years here cause that's what it really took me for my journey and my success. But if I, if I look here at what happened for me to do this, I had to sacrifice my whole life. Okay. For like, I had to work six to seven days a week, probably 60 to 80 hours per week for three to four years in a row because I had the speed component and I had the aggression opponent component, excuse me, attacking my goals at an extremely fast rate. So this is very alpha to do. This is very strong. Okay. Because regardless of how I felt notice, I didn't lead with necessarily any emotion with this. I just did what I had to do. Now there's a component to all of this where guys are going to classify these traits as beta. They say, Oh, well, you're increasing your money. You're increasing your status. You're increasing these things. You're building yourself. You're going to build yourself into the better beta to where she's still going to want to go, you know, hang with the bad boy, whatever the case is. I'm going to tell you this right now. If you can get into the mindset of, I don't care. Okay. If you truly don't care and you're focused on your own, that is the most alpha that anybody could ever do or that anybody could ever tell you. And the reason being is because you are putting yourself first and you're leading your own life regardless with or without whoever is on that journey. So for most of you, it's going to take 10 years. For me, it took about five. Okay. And this was after having the best guides, the best mentors, all that yada, yada. The fact is women want winners for reasons you can't even imagine. The real reason why women want winners is because they see precursors to success on a survival and or a reproductive scale. Now, here's what I can tell you is that I have oftentimes seen men who come into money. Like I have worked with men in the past who they maybe have trust funds, right? Or they maybe there, there's generational wealth that was passed down. Those men, even though they're loaded financially, they can never sustain the women because they didn't develop the hard nosed masculine traits that it actually takes to have strong dominant traits in your life that show highly uh, attractive skill sets. So competence is extremely important. Okay. Women want winners for reasons you can't imagine until you've done the work with yourself and on yourself. And the truth is everything that you should be spending your time doing is a mixture of survival plus replication. Okay. This is all I spend my time doing. Okay. I'm either figuring out ways I can survive better and survive longer or I'm figuring out ways I can replicate and ensure that I have the highest quality genes. Some may say that that's selfish. I'm going to tell you straight up. I don't care. The S three actual marketplace is going to be a competition. And those of you know that if you go out and you want to, you want to interact with women on a Friday night, it's you against the other guy. That's how men have, that's, that's how it is because of that. When you look at the survival scale, if you focus on things like the gym, right? Eating healthy food, making sure you have sleep, making sure you have financial provisioning power for yourself. That's going to register high on the survival. But what's going, what is that going to help when it comes to replication? Well, you're going to be ripped. You're going to have an aesthetic physique. You're going to have six back abs. You're going to be looking good. If you sleep well, you're going to be calibrated socially, or you should be able to, you should be able to consistently progress with that. And if you have financial ability, well, now you have provisioning. On a replication value, a woman's going to see that that's good reason for good offspring. So I'm going to tell you this right now. There is no neglect of the work. When it comes to ultimate responsibility, this has to be ingrained in you. When people say like, it's, it's so funny. Like for me, it was, e it was easier to figure out how to convey a message like this and grow to a quarter million YouTube subscribers than it is to learn how to plug in a cable television to an Xbox and connect it to live and connect it to Wi-Fi and talk to these people with headsets like people spend their time doing like that would be harder for me to do. If you abandon the stuff that keeps you distracted, you will be so surprised what you can actually accomplish with the right guidance, the right tools and the right levers. And the truth is if you focus on this, I truly don't believe you can have a sad or a, a, a life that's filled with bad things because you're only leveling up your status. You're only leveling up your reproductive potential. You're only leveling up the things that not only women look for when it comes to, you know, dating and whatnot, but you're, you're actually developing hard nosed traits that men look towards for guidance and you truly are becoming a leader. So fellas, by the end of this video, if you truly did enjoy this, I want you to go down and I want you to 
watch the MBT webinar. Okay, MBT is brand new shop for 2022. You're gonna learn so much information in that. Secondly, subscribe to the Headman Nation newsletter. Okay, I'm gonna be dropping weekly content, weekly emails, show you behind the scenes footage of what I'm doing. You guys hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.